Welcome to This Week in Plymouth. I'm your host, Dan Salzer, for Saturday, October 14th. Both the Budget and Capital Improvement Planning Committees will be holding two meetings this month. They are both meeting on the same days, Tuesday the 24th and Monday the 30th. Both budget meetings will be held at 12.30 p.m. with a CIP meeting directly after at 2.30. The Recreation Department has announced a trip to the SNHU Arena for the Boston Pops Holiday Concert. The trip is scheduled for Saturday, December 9th. Tickets are on sale for $75 and are limited, so be sure to sign up soon to secure your spot. The Recreation Department has also announced a new skating and ice hockey classes available for residents ages four and older, beginning in November. The classes will be held on Saturdays from 9 to 10 a.m. with six week sessions starting this November and running all the way to April. Be sure to visit the website or Facebook page for the Recreation Department to get more information. Pease Public Library has some events coming up, first of which is a short story discussion session on Friday the 20th about Nephelum by L. Annette Binder. There will also be a session on the book Black Elk Speaks by John G. Nyhart on Monday the 30th at 6 p.m. The library will be hosting a pumpkin carving event on Wednesday the 25th at 6 p.m. for ages 13 to 113. Registration is required, so be sure to head over to the website at peacepubliclibrary.org to sign up today. Additionally, the library will have a delayed opening on Thursday, October 19th for staff training. Peace Public Library will be opening that day at 1 o'clock. With Halloween just around the corner, the Plymouth Historical Society, along with the Peace Public Library, hosts the Capital Crime of Witchcraft, What Primary Sources Tell Us, presented by Margot Burns. This event takes place on Wednesday, October 18th at 5.30 p.m. at the Plymouth Historical Society. It is open to the public free of charge. You can stay up to date on all library events by tuning in to the new program called Check It Out, hosted by assistant librarian Becky White here on channel 1302 and on demand on YouTube. It's now time to take a look at Bobcat Sports. Boys soccer looks to hold on to a playoff spot after dropping two games in a row at Pelham on the sixth and most recently a two nil loss at home against Bow on Wednesday. The Bobcats have three games remaining and will wrap up the regular season on Friday, October 20th at home against Co Brown Northwood Academy. Girls soccer has one game remaining this season. After battling Laconia on the road on this past Thursday, the Bobcats close out the season on Thursday, October 19th, also at home against Co Brown Northwood Academy. Field hockey closed out the season yesterday at home against Lebanon on Senior Day. Congratulations to all the seniors who have competed throughout their high school careers. Volleyball picked up its second win of the season this past Monday against Manchester West in a 3-0 straight set sweep. The Bobcats wrap up the season with two home matches on Wednesday and Friday next week against St. Thomas and Kennett. Cross Country held its home meet last Friday around campus as the teams have two final meets before the division championships on the 28th of October at Dairy Field Park. The Bobcats will be competing this morning at the Kingswood Invitational. After a change in the schedule, football bounced back in a big way on the road last Friday afternoon at Guilford Belmont, coming away with a 44-15 victory. The Bobcats also hosted Kennett last night for the second annual gray out game in memory of Luke Besson. Also, golf wrapped up its season on October 4th Head over to the athletic website for all the details on all your favorite teams. Reminder, you can watch full replays of our coverage of Bobcat Sports on our YouTube channel and throughout the weeks on channel 1302. Looking into next week, the Water and Sewer Commissioners and the Conservation Committee are scheduled to meet on Tuesday at 5 and 7 p.m. respectfully. The Planning Board will also be meeting on the 19th at their regular scheduled time in the meeting room at Town Hall at 6.30 p.m. Thank you for tuning in to This Week in Plymouth. Remember, you can watch full replays of town meetings, PRHS Sports, and all of our original content on our YouTube channel. Reminder to visit the new town website and social media pages to stay up to date on everything happening in the town. And for our executive producer, Jonathan Picard, I'm Dan Salzer. Join us next weekend for another episode of This Week in Plymouth.